Hi, this is Kara Hart, and my daughter and I are here doing a haul video. I happen to be home with some family shenanigans that I don't want to talk about, but because my daughter's here, she's going to join me on the shopping that I've been doing online, of which she laughs at me here and there. Always. She's, always. Are you going to do your cheesy wave? Oh, I'll do my cheesy wave. Hi. She did her <laughs> cheesy wave, too. So... Shall I say your name? Or is your name not to be named? I could be anonymous. Oh, you she's, never know. she's anonymous daughter. I do have many daughters, so you don't know which anonymous <laughs> daughter this is. So let me just get started. Way too long an intro for you. But this is cool. I bought this on eBay. And yes, I spent a whopping $7. Ooh. But these are stories of the universe. So we have the earth, the stars, animal life, and plants. And these books are from 1909. And if you look at the way they're made, it's just stunning. So they're not even by the same people. Look, this is by Grant Allen, by B. Lindsay, by G. F. Chambers, and by H. G. Seeley. And then when you flip through them, say December 25th of 1909, it was a Christmas present, aww, to someone from their uncle, aww. But these images are copyright free. So what I figured I would do is on my hoard of things that I absolutely love, like those envelopes I shared a while back, I can take pictures of these things. I don't wanna destroy these books. They're just too beautiful and in great shape. So I can take pictures and share these in a digital download. And once I have the time to do this, then I'll do this in uh, probably Etsy, Oh, this one's not in grape shape. But you can see that they. this is a hand-stitched, well, not hand-stitched, but it is a stitched book. I don't know if they used machines in 1909. I assume so. And you it can looks see like a this. Glue. Yeah, well, they stitch it, then they glue it. Yeah. And that's actually a beautiful material as well. Nowadays, it's kind of cheesy. Cheesecloth, cheesy. Yeah, that was cheesy, too. Daughter just shaking head at mother. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, I don't know how cool it's going to be or not, but I'm hoping the images are good images. Right, and the plants. Of course, this is going to have some great images in there, even though I flipped straight away to just word pages. So maybe it's a flop, but either way, they're beautiful books. And I love old books. The next thing is we went shopping this afternoon because she needed this plastic case. So, oh darn, she needed to go to Tuesday morning. Bummer. Bummer. Bummer, she says. So um, this storage case at Tuesday morning is $3.99. It was the last one. They used to have like seven yeah, of them yeah. in the and same it store. It wasn't even like the last one, obviously. Like we found it like under a shelf. And like have it dig. So we agreed to split this. She just wants this guy. I like my sticky stamps. Yeah, she likes her sticky stamps. And so, and she doesn't have a die cutting machine. Which I should already have that in the mail. I ordered one. Mine broke. <laughs> yeah. So that that's also coming. Um, for those of you who know I'm gone, I'm actually not gone right now. I'm back home. Um, so I am able to open those boxes and those videos will be coming out soon. Um, but I'm going to stagger them because you guys don't want to just see me do a haul nonstop 24-7. Anyway, off of that. I'm going to keep that. So I'll be able to do multiple die cuts with that beautiful deer. And then these ones as well. I like artsy. They make cute little die cut stamp combos. Oh, that's a cute way to name it. Yeah. It's artsy as in yeah. like copyright. Oh, thank you. That's cute. So this Brayer kit is fabulous for me. Um, and it happened, and it's funny because when I saw it, I'm like, oh my gosh, this is the perfect size Brayer that I need for my letterpress. Oh, well, then I flip it over and I see that it's actually made for the letterpress. How cute is that? So um, I don't know if I'm really gonna need this acrylic block stamp. I'm probably more likely, uh, not stamp, acrylic block piece, because I'm probably more likely not to brayer and smooth it out on this acrylic block. I'll, I'll use my uh, handmade jelly plate for that instead. It's but easier. The, well, there's a lot of things you can use an acrylic block for. Yeah. yeah, so probably more like my big stamps. You have another jelly plate? Yeah. yeah I, I love the jelly plate. Um, and then, this lovely daughter loves to do cutting, so I gave her a task. 
I bought these two sets of white card stock and I have a whole bunch of envelopes with sizes that don't have, I have envelopes that don't have the right cards to fit it with the envelopes. So I'm gonna have her cut these down to fit to the envelope sizes that I do have. And so that'll be nice. And that's that. You only like the straight cutting of the paper. Not like the fancy scissor cutting. Yeah, she's not a fussy cutter, she's a straight cutter. Does that make you a straight shooter? <laughs> okay, and this is a cool thing that I ordered a while back and I haven't shared with you yet, even though it's been sitting in my stash waiting for me to share it with you, but I'll take one out and show you. These are the kinds of masks that you would wear for like a Mardi Gras or New Year thing. And I thought it would be fun to use sprays on these masks, um, but there's many different ways to ink it with the color. Don't even have to use this ribbon. I'm actually probably gonna cut these ribbons off and replace them with something that looks cooler with the mask itself, because this mask is awesome. I mean, you could not even like replace the ribbon and use it as like just decoration instead of an actual mask. Yeah, that's true too. But I'll do one of them and then I'll either sell or gift the other four. And maybe after I do one, I'll sell or gift that. So I don't know. But I got them because I liked them and it was on a whim and it was a long time ago and I just haven't shared it with you guys. But aren't they cool? So if you guys think it's something that would be fun to to buy, let me know and I can put it in Etsy or I can put it in the auction on August 20th. Um, that might be kind of fun. So I'll, auction? Yeah, I have an auction. Oh, she doesn't even know. She doesn't watch my YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> so my auction is on August 20th at 2 p.m. And um, yeah, it's live and it's held on this channel. So I'm just going to show up the, what things have been donated as well as what other things I put into the auction to help raise money to cover the ridiculous expenses of some of the everyday things for the foundation. So I have a YouTube hardest, not YouTube hardest, I have a Defy hardest that is doing a steampunk book. And I personally love steampunk as well. This is the monocle. Isn't it cute? Fun fact, I have a daughter who's blind, and it's this daughter, who's oh. blind in one eye. She just hit her head on the table because, <laughs> you know, mom is embarrassing her. And so... Everyone always tells me I should get a monocle. Yes. That's the first thing anyone ever says when they're like, oh, you're blind in one eye? Why don't you wear a monocle? Yeah. And so, um, and one year I got her a steampunky looking monocle to put over the good eye so she could strengthen the bad eye. Do you remember that? No, no. Oh, well, I mean, I haven't worn like an eye patch or anything since like sixth grade. Yeah. It had like bolts around the exterior part of the yeah, monocle. Less than sixth grade. It was cute. But anyway. Fourth grade. Um, I suppose we could put punny little jokes with the mustache. I actually have some good material I can cut some pieces out of. But these are just some fun die cuts. And the pipe is nice, too. That's cute. So these will be fun for a combination of things. One, for steampunk journals. These are just fun pieces to put with the steampunk journals. And two, for cards. Um, oh, and this is a pocket watch. That's what this one is. Um, and two, for when you're doing a card, um, these are some fun little die cuts for card making that's masculine. So, um, and that's true. I feel like most cards are super feminine, even like my neutral Christmas cards. <laughs> yeah. Cause it's got okay. that baby blue and silver. Okay. I'll put that out of the way. And while talking about die cuts and steampunk, for some reason, I always think of trains when I think of steampunk. Also your grandson. Yeah. <laughs> and think of trains with my grandson. He loves his, his, what is the name of that train thing? Thomas? Yeah. Thomas the Penguin. Yeah. And so I don't know if you're going to be able to see this very well, but this one is a fabulous steam engine. And so you can't really see it from this side, but they give me lots of pokies to poke it out. Um, 
But yeah, this is a cool looking steam engine and would be kind of nice on one of the pages. In fact, it's so, it's so burly in its size that it could even be a train pocket. Hmm. Yeah, so that's what I was thinking when I saw it. And it's a good width for any book because it's about just over four inches. So it's a good width. Okay, now on to the stamps. So I bought a whole hoard of stamps for um, a lovely price we'll not talk about. In fact, I feel kind of guilty, but I did let the person know when I bought it that we were donating it to the nonprofit. So um, this is from eBay. It's a big eBay purchase of a bunch of stamps. Um, and what these are gonna be done, what I'm gonna do with these is just start sending, when I get the ink pads, or when I get enough ink pads, then I'll send out ink pads with a stamp here and there. I'll try to keep track of what stamps I send. Um, and there's gonna be all different kinds of stamps. So everything from urban to flowery, and we'll just go through this box. So this one, we can't figure out what it is. What is this one? We were sitting here staring at it thinking, is it for pop-up cards? It just says CC rubber stamps. 1996 then it says CCN664 maybe there's a how-to we could look that up I don't want to like test it because then it's a fresh stamp and it's one of like the only like non-used ones from the hall yeah like so I don't want to use it to find out but yeah so somebody's gonna get gifted this stamp that is something something mountain fold valley fold center fold see like there's the center fold right there makes me want to put one of the girls with it. <laughs> Centerfold girls. I know the song popped in my head. <laughs> okay, so outside of that, I, people are just going to get random stamps. Some have been used, some have not been used, some of them are a little crooked, like this one's a little crooked. Yeah, that's why they're so cheap. But yeah, that's probably it. That's probably why it was so inexpensive. There's actually this set of four, which I think is really cool. So let what we're going to do is she's going to keep just handing me the stamps and I'll tell you what they are in case you don't have, in case you're watching this on your phone. Let me make sure you're on good camera zone. Yeah, because I'm not doing this with my mat underneath, but yeah, it looks like you can see this okay. Actually, let me zoom you in. Okay, so this is the one that we don't know what it is, has some strange folds. Set those four aside for when we get all yeah. four. This one is dragonflies and like a little scene. This one is a good background stamp or it would be hard to fussy cut out. So it'd be nice for a background stamp or a mixed media artist. A lot of these are really used, but they still have excellent texture to them. So I think that's fine. Um, this one is an urban style. So for those of you who are hardists, um, I'm going to add a column of information because I keep a column in all of you guys. Um, I'm going to add a column of information that says um, style you would prefer. Do you prefer the urban, the shabby chic, the boho, boho clean cut, clean cut flowery? I'm trying to think of what other styles there are. Well, you probably know what style you are. Or if you don't know what your style is, I'll give you a variety, then you'll find your own style. So then say variety. That's fine too, because you could even have a style of variety. Anyway, that's urban. Um, this one is beachy. Uh, this one says new beginnings. So if, um, if you do want to make, and, and this is very important, I need to find somebody who wants one of these because I won't just give it to random people. Um, if you want to make a journal for a new mom that is a new mom of a boy or a new mom of a girl or a new mom of either, then um, I have an entire kit set aside of stuff that I can't file because it's all for a new mom. And you've seen some of that in my haul videos. So this is going to go in the new mom kit. And there's only going to be one kit of that. I don't have enough to make multiple kits. So then I have a flower and a mountain, and an A. We're gonna keep going here. And a rainbow. Is there a song coming out of my head? And a fish. <laughs> and a what is that? Is that a flower? It's a flower. Okay, that's a flower. Look how tiny this is. What I were mean, they thinking? It even tells you the colors to paint it with. 
Oh, how cute. Look at the colors. Yeah, and so it tells you if you, like, put those on the stamp, it's kind of like a how-to for yeah. the picture on the front. Well, that's cute. So that would be good with one of those paintbrush inky things. EK Success is a good stamp, so that'll last for a while, too. And then Hero Arts makes this one. This is one of the ones where it's solid. And then, so what you're stamping is the solid square. And it's the negative. Yes, yeah. thank you. It's the negative. I couldn't think of that. And this one is of leaves. A cute little bumblebee. What it's is this? Bug, Mom. Leaves. I'm sorry. Ladybug. And then this is another one of those reliefs. Oh, that's what it's called. It's relief, right? Mm -hmm. when the edged one, I think. Anyway, maybe that's not what it's called. And that's a lily. That's pretty. That would be great for a sympathy card or an Easter card. And I'm sad that it's both, but <laughs> we tend to see them on both. Um, this is a southwestern looking lizard. Gecko, whatever it is. Uh, these are birds in the sky. So I guess if you need birds in a background, that'd be good for a mixed media artist. The bunnies. The fall leaves. This one is... Uh, this would be fun if you did this on photo paper. I think what I'll do is whenever I send the stamps with the ink pads, I'll send it with photo paper too. Because I have a lot of photo paper in stock right now. I just got a great donation from Walgreens. Um, but this is good for Christmas. The Christmas light bulbs. I have Happy Fall. A uh, flower. Don't be a princess. No, I'm just kidding. Here's a crown. Good background. This bunny makes me think that they have a secret image in here as well. And I'm trying to find the secret image, but look at how it has that little mark right there. Doesn't it look like a secret image to you somewhere that I'm missing? See how it has a mark? Yeah, with the way the ear is. Yeah, it feels like I should be seeing two images. Or maybe that's just supposed to be the other side of the, the ear in, in the background. Okay, but it gives me the image of, do you see a face or do you see a bunny? Yeah. You know, it makes me think Looking of that. Like the psychiatrists. Yeah. <laughs> Too many blotchies for me these days. All right, she's got, she's got them lined up for me. I have a to and a from on this. That's kind of cute. This one looks like grasses. What do they call this? Grass cluster. Look at that. I got names. That one looks like bamboo. Do I get a name on this one? No, I just get a 5879B. It was $3.90 in 1999. Wow. Yeah, that's not. All right, but anyway, it's cute. Looks like a uh, bamboo. So that would be kind of fun. Um, obviously this person did all their stamp buying in 99 and 96 and that's what I'm seeing most of these as. Um, she's Tetrising the stamps over there. When I'm done, I'm gonna move the camera so you can see her Tetris of stamps. <laughs> Okay, so uh, I have no idea what this stamp is for, but when you look at the front, it looks like it's gonna be a simple line, right? Nope, it's not just a simple line. It has like a fading thing that happens it to it too. It feathers. It feathers out, yeah. So that'll be interesting in itself. Then I have a bunny. Oh, and this is a four pack, so I will send all four of these. Somebody spent six forty nine dollars each on these at Hobby Lobby. Wow. Hold on, motorcycle. So someone sent, spent six forty nine dollars each on these ones, but I'm going to send them as one set. Um, these are... They're just too cute to separate. Yeah, they're way too cute to separate. Winter, fall, summer, and spring. Isn't that cute? It's not in that order. I have to have it in the right order. See? Not in the right order. Have to have it in the right order. <laughs> now I feel better. <laughs> Winter, spring, summer, and fall. Isn't that cute, though? Hero Arts makes the stamp. And, um, yeah. I, I just, it's got good little words in there. Quiet of the night, thick socks and more mittens. Then it says the songs of children and crickets and tree frogs in the summer. Oh, just good words. Okay, Tetris lady. Do I have any more? Look at that, the box is empty. It's a lot of stamps. It's a lot of stamps. So, oh, well, these ones don't fit in here now. I'm going to show you her Tetris. Are you I'll ready just, for this? I'll just put this on here. She Tetris them. I have it upside down. I can do your TV. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, now here is a different haul. And you're gonna freak out on this. This one, I felt so guilty. What did I say I paid? A dollar four? Like, yeah, a dollar and four cents. A dollar and four cents on free eBay. Shipping. And free shipping. So guys, when you go to eBay and you get something that's good of a deal, um, you know, I just, I feel like I should apologize. I feel guilty. So I'm, I'm happy that they know that this is going to a good cause. And, you know, I did buy this with my own money. So every once in a while, I do keep something for myself. So in this case, this is a haul and we're going to go through it together because all of it is bought blind. It's a mystery haul. Well, so, cause didn't you buy one thing and... No, this was a haul. Oh, it was? Yeah, the... this was the right thing. Ooh, I almost pokied myself. This is what not to do. You never put the pokey towards the fingers. Although I have cute band-aids, so every once in a while I need a cute band-aid. Here we go. Are you oh, ready for this? We have not gone through this yet. I might need your help, Michelle. Oops, I said her name. <laughs> okay, here we go. How do we, how do we, how do we, how do, oh, see, now that one I'm going to use on a card I make. Yeah, that's like classic you early scrapbooking days. Yeah. Like we could pull out the old albums. We, you know, I could, if I had a couple pictures that don't have personal information, you know, like yeah. my old scrapbooking pages, that would be kind of fun. So let's just have Michelle, you've seen the haul, she's just going to shuffle it over to me. Oh, and we'll go through this together. Oh, oh, we need a pile. We need a pile of what what care loves and cannot bear to share. So that's cute. So we have a border. So I'm going to separate these into I have whenever I have uh, stickers, I have a sticker pile and then I have a border pile. And then oh my gosh, look how cute these stickers are. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Uh-oh. She, she can lay claim to some things. Oh, because <laughs> she's a card maker. And by the way, when she um, gets... I was thinking more for dog grooming, that one. Oh, for dog... Uh, she's Turn a, into the little dog bows. She's a dog groomer as well, and she, she makes little bows for their, for their oh, hair well, they, or their ears. put them on top of their ears. Yeah, and so when she starts up her own YouTube, I'll let you know what it is. Oh, she's going too fast for me. I'll put this over in the Shelly pile. Yeah, we'll hide this here. Okay. Oh, Creative Memories was my staple. Yeah, this is my keeper. I don't know. This is a maybe keeper because I really love stamps. Okay. Wherever we are, it's our friends who make our world. Oh, these are good for card kits. One kind word can warm three winter months, autumn days, thankful. Oh, that's good. So this will go into my sticker pile, the border pile. And then my border pile is my die cut pile. That's a beautiful die cut. That's why I put it with the wave and the aloha. <laughs> Shelly, we miss you. And we hope everything, not, not the Shelly at the table, but Shelly at Crafting Mamas, um, let's keep her and her daughter in our thoughts and our healing thoughts for sure because they're going through something super serious right now. So for those of you who don't watch the Crafting Mama channel, um, that's fine, but if you're wondering where she's been, it's because she's dealing with some shizzle. Um, these these waves are cute. Those are big die cuts, so. Yeah. With the aloha and the... Yeah, we'll keep that together. Oh, I actually have a separate letter stack in the office, so I sort that separately. Okay, and we have... Oh, that's funny, because I just <laughs> got these from somewhere else recently. What are the odds of that? Okay, these birthday boy, picture. brothers buddies thank heaven for little girls thank heaven for little girls don't these oh, look like posters more. but wait they've got like a weird there's. like texture to them they feel like it's posters. not paper it's not like cardstock it's yeah if it, you it's like textured hardstock i think yeah. if you're a hardest and you get these in your kit and you see that they're poked out of something all you need to do is you take your emery board and you sand the edge of it with your emery board and you don't see the little pokies anymore um birthday boy you know the what did I do with that um, girly girl kit do you remember when I said I was gonna keep that separate no darn it I didn't keep it separate okay girl birthday boy buddies thank heaven for little girls brothers and another little thing mm -hmm. they go in die cuts oh she's sending me all the die cuts let's yeah all right oh wait no there's more 
But wait, there's more. There's, there's a more. star yeah. and a flower and a star and a flower and a pals. How cute. And a mm. love. You know, this would be really easy to make coaster kits. Oh, that's true. Well, I mean, if you did like a... Wait, no. Cork on the bottom. It's already almost done. Could do a little coaster kits. Maybe not like a very humid coaster because it would like bleed through the paper. You'd have to seal it. Yeah, but then it wouldn't do any good as a coaster. That's true. I don't know. Maybe not a coaster kit. But it looks so cute. Um, memories are... Well, they're easy card kits. That's true. Yeah, so easy. Memories are the key, not to the past, but to the future. Fun, games, play, adventure. These should be cut apart, but whoever gets them can cut them apart. Celebrate, presents, happy party, true friend girl's memories, vacation, hot, sunny, bright, all-star, now that song is in my head. That's cute. I get to sneak preview because she shows me things. <laughs> I okay. just uh, show the ones that I think she'll keep. She knows me just a little bit. She's been crafting with me forever, and she is crazy creative. You should see her stuff. We have Christmas cards oh. on Etsy soon. <laughs> She's good. <laughs> okay, fine. Whenever she gets her Etsy up and running and she does her Christmas cards, I'll do a little link down I here. I have to actually, like, do that. <laughs> But yeah, I've got like maybe six Christmas cards. Wait, no, I bumped it up to eight. I made two more. She's made eight. I just, I make them so slowly. That's why I'm starting so early. Well, yeah, whenever you put them up, I'll put them down. Oh, nope. That, that's funny. I'll put them down in the thingy. So we have stars. And now I feel like I'm eating, what is that one? Hearts and stars and lucky charms, right? Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Oh, look, there's also... Balloons in Lucky Charms. <laughs> <laughs> no balloons. We've got the rainbow stamp from the other one. So. Oh, this is cute. Cause look how they did the foam stamp and a good and a die cut that that's like, clear like on the, the little, vellum. Three like, D. That's a smart so. way to do it. Yeah, cause if it's a clear plastic, you're gonna see the the glue. Yeah, and so, so then might as well do the little three D star. So then it's cute. That is cute. And it could also be like you know like the glare, like the glisten. Yeah. How you paint like the glisten on something. That would be that'd be cute. Okay, so I'm keeping, the, keeping this one. Although, I don't know if I'm going to keep it for long because I get frustrated when it's that intricate. And I'm peeling it out, and I'm like, oh, I cannot get every little piece out. Oh, I've got like a boy stack okay. going on right here. Not that we're sexist or anything, but we have a boy stack going on. Let me see, what do we have? Funny, buddy, skateboard, and little star. That is cute. Okay, so this goes in with the stickers baseball you say boy stack but you played you played t-ball well yeah but then i was blind my doctor said no yeah that, <laughs> that happened grand slam slugger baseball but she has 2020 2015 vision in her good eye yeah. yeah so slugger grand slam baseball number one play ball go team take me out to the ball game somebody used one sticker but i think people don't mind and look I at this bought it for the one sticker yeah <laughs> Um, and this is a pack of stickers and die cuts, but it's all in the same theme of baseball, so I think I'll leave it all together. So if I have a hardest who's interested in some of the baseball stuff, um, send me a little note, but if you don't send it fast, it just goes in the stash, and then it becomes random, because it's too hard for me to find it in the stash. Mom, I'm drowning over here. Oh my gosh. I'm trying to sort things. I love layers like this. Look at how cool. Yeah, that's definitely classic, like, early scrapbooking days for you. It is. Like, I can even picture the aisle in Michael's. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even want to know how much I used to spend on stickers. I'm not one of those people who maintain frugality. Frugality comes in waves for me. Sometimes I'm an excessive spender. I must confess. It happens. It does. It happens bad. So, yeah. Care, sometimes frugal, sometimes not so frugal. Oh, these are the rub-ons. I love those. All the world is a garden filled with the beauty of those who smile. You only live once. You only live once. You only live once. So they had to repeat that three times? Once? YOLO. Yeah. <laughs> beauty is everywhere. Spring is in the Here's air. The, the flower that blooms. This is beautiful. You know... Just so you know, this particular size is hard for me to put into um, 
the kits. Let me see if I'm zoomed in to where you can see the whole thing on screen. Because I moved my scissors. Yeah, I'll put that back there. Okay, so whenever you see something this size, it doesn't always make it into the mail to the hardests. They make it to local hardests. So I'll set that aside, but that's probably where it's going to go. And I do have a separate pile just for the rub-ons. Ooh, this is pretty. I'm Unique and charming and you. You know what, I'm keeping this one for myself because I like the unique with the U. And isn't that charming? That's so cute. Oh, here's, that's, here's a bunch more. There's a lot in here. Well, I might switch this out. I might switch this out because um, I'm looking for the stuff to make uh, a book I'm currently working on. Oh, this is very cool with a K. You rock, the R-A-W-K. Live out loud. This is this is uh, what's that generation called? Early when the millennials were babies. Yeah. Gen. Gen. Gen Which Y. The millennials. It's called. It's just called the millennials. millennials. Sweet. That's like something I would have scrapbooked when you first let me start scrapbooking. So we should tell them how I allowed the kids to decide to scrapbook. Okay, it's more of an application process. It was. Because there's a test page. There is. And my test page, I'm pretty sure I was like six. My test page was just full of Disney stickers, so I failed. I had, I had to reapply later. She did. She reapplied. Like it was, it was like a week later. She had to reapply. to. And so the rule was, was you had your own craft supplies. Every kid had their own craft. Oh, this is cute. Foot loose and fancy free. Life is good. Look at these flowers. I could have used that when I was doing the boho thing. But this is going to go to the, to the crafters. Um, and so when she reapplied like a week later, <laughs> then she got the right to earn um access to my craft supplies and the reason limited was limited supervised access yes and the reason was is because i had to know that you weren't just going to put a hundred of the you know five dollar thing i mean these used to be expensive right I'm sure they still are yeah i don't really buy them much anymore but but i used to have jolies and stuff like lots of things like this this was a staple and so i had to make sure that if they had access to my craft supplies it wasn't going to be a page full of stickers and that was what she learned. You can kind of get a sense of a person's style when they send you their um, decluttering. Yeah, this is a de-stash. I oh, like these letters, aren't they beautiful? I nodded, I realize you guys can't see me. Yeah, so. you can't hear her nod. Well, I don't know what she was writing, but she took a couple of letters out of this one. I guess we could figure out what it is, let's do that. So it's a C, it's an M, it's an A, what letter is that? Probably. Oh, here's another Aloha from before. Oh, that's good. It's an R. It almost looks like, oh, there's an S too. Cameras? Cameras. I don't know. That's what it looks like. Okay. Oh, these are, oh, I didn't mean to put that there. These are my letters. All my letters go in one stack. Lots and lots of letters. Oh, I'm keeping this one. Figured you would. That's why I was nudging it towards you. She nudged me. She knows I have a thing for tea. Oh, and it's a really cool. Like, I've never seen, like, an embossing. Yeah, this is a brass one. So you can use this in your embossing machine, whatever your machine is, if you have, if you have a die cut. But if you don't, then what you can use is something to depress and I use just a little pen that has a ball at the end and depress it on top of something like a mouse pad and that works too. There's so much in here. She's I'm getting overwhelmed I'm trying to sort this for her. <laughs> it's just gonna be random now. Cherry family oh cherish cherry. Oh I like that. Isn't that pretty? Well it is. Yeah I kind of feel like that should be a doodle. May you always remain as sweet as you are today. I'm keeping that one because I have a feeling I'm going to turn that into a card. Summer. Like my birthday card that had donuts on it. <laughs> That'd be a nice pun. That would be cute. That is really cute. That makes me want to do a sweet card now <laughs> well, with yeah, all kinds gotta, of you sweets. You do like a, like a sugar pun. So if there's no pun, it's not a good card. I mean, <laughs> she's as bad as me on puns. She has actually called me a couple of times just to tell me how funny a pun was. Okay, I have so. actually. 
<laughs> bright. Oh, hold on. Here we go. Too often we underestimate the power of a touch, a smile, a kind word, a listening ear, an honest compliment, or the smallest act of caring, all of which have the potential to turn a life around. That is a fabulous one. I'm keeping that. Oh, this is the same as something we've already seen. Oh, yeah. That's at the bottom. Listen and so are these waves. Okay. Should I wave? Yeah, I couldn't resist. Here. She's waving too. I like to make fun of you. Okay, the, the smile is cute. That's an easy instant card. Oh, look, it says I love you on the back. Je t'aime. Do they all say that? Très joli. That means very beautiful, right? C'est la vie, that's life. Was this a French company? I guess. Tre what is Jolie again? I don't remember. I don't know. I never took French. Okay, Tre Bien means very good. I grew up in Arizona. I took Spanish. <laughs> cute little cowgirl. Girl. Yeah, that's not French. But isn't that cute? These ones are like that. I like that. I love the text on it, too. Tre Jolie. Mm. Very joyful? Jolie. I forget what Jolie is. It sounds like joyful. Okay, so little cowgirl down on the farm. Ride, baby, ride. I love horses. To have joy, one must share it. Oh, that's so sweet. See, another Tre Jolie. Je t'aime. Another, it says, I love you. It's made by my mind's eye. I like that company. Dream, live, learn, define yourself, express yourself, feel alive. These are great for junk journals, too. Because you could back them with some lined paper and they're instantly journaling cards. And that'd be a good texture, too. It's good, good oh, thickness. Kind of goes with that set. All about me. Sometimes it is all about her. Yeah, always. <laughs> she might be the youngest. Um, not that the youngest is spoiled or anything, because I'm also the youngest. We could sit and have an argument about why the youngest has it the toughest. Well, yeah. Yeah. Because, I mean, like, no offense, Mom, but, like, at that point, you're, like, clocked out. You're like, oh, I've done this a ton. I got this. <laughs> so then I'm sitting there, like... Being babysat by my older sister. <laughs> who's mad at me for no reason. <laughs> And the older sister watches this video and goes, I was never mad at you. I always took it easiest on you. It's hardest to tell. That's the only reason she took it the easiest <laughs> on me. Wild and free dream. Don't at me, Desi. Um, Sorry, that's a kid's phrase. Dirty, right on, right on. Oh my gosh. Always growing, one inch at a time. Reach, watch you grow. Watching you grow. Be anything and everything. Oh, that's a good one for like a graduation party. A world of make-believe, play on, toys, 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 curious. Are those French too? Nope. I just was enjoying the French ones. His laughter sparkled like a splash of water in the sunlight. Oh, Mom. That's pretty. It's a handmade paperclip. I'm going to pause you. Look, look at the back. She stitched the felt on there. Oh, That's so cute. She said she's going to pause me, but I'm not going to pause that. Look at this. Isn't that cute? I love handmade things. Yeah. Yeah, and Especially when it's... Especially in like a, a D, D stash. Fold. Yeah. So um, when you're making your own handmade paper clips, make sure that you put the two loops down at the bottom and you stitch to the one loop on the top. And this would be an easy craft to create in like little kits. Sending the felt pieces and you cut those little pieces out and then you stitch them on. That's cute. I'll set that aside as a reminder because I could die cut some felt flowers and make paper clip kits. Well, not kit, not a kit just with paper clips, but just a little set that goes in with all the other kit stuff. Brothers, oh, that's cute too. Trey Jolie, wee oui, wee, oui. yes, yes. <laughs> okay, make it worth it, achieve, feel alive. This is the life you were meant to live. We have a bird whistling at us. <laughs> I think it's my husband whistling at us. <laughs> Love this face. When you look at me, smile, cute. Life is, well, I suppose we could end this any which way. These days, life is difficult. Just a girl. I don't even think I like this one. Nobody is just a girl. You know what I say? I don't like that one. Yeah, that's what I said. 
Nobody's Imagine just putting that on like a Burbank announcement card. Oh, it's just a curve. <laughs> 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 Don't worry, guys. Don't drive all the way from Texas. It's <laughs> just a girl. It's just a girl. <laughs> Oh, oh my gosh, this is beautiful. Ticket, 25 cents, treasure these moments. <laughs> oh, this boot is cool. Okay, I have to use this boot in a card of my own for when someone is kicking ass, so excuse my language, but um, when they're going through a difficult time and they're making it through, I'm, I'm already thinking about an individual right now that I wanna send this card to that, um, that says something like, you kick ass in times of trouble. <laughs> Wouldn't that be cute? Yeah, time to get all lettery with that one. Oh, what a darling little word, darling. Yeah, I can't help it. I'm sorry. Look, they have bling on the backside. Why would you bling the backside? It might be an accident. Oh, well, it's a like, happy these accident. These ones look like. Oh, it probably came from there. Look at blood. that. Here, we'll throw the other ones on there too. Okay, we have bling. Beware of bling. Okay, it's not coming off my finger. I need to be rescued. That's why you stock you and those. <laughs> That's probably why. Okay, I give up. Stay. So we have two bling packets. And they're gonna go over with the stickers. And then Darlene, which says Mademoiselle. And Bonjour. Bonjour, Mademoiselle. Wonder. Reminds me of uh, Beauty and the Beast. Does it? I don't think I ever watched that. Ooh, these are pretty. There are four kids who never watched Beauty and the Beast? No, because I think I got bored with that one. It doesn't have enough puns, like Lion King or, you know. I wouldn't call those puns. It's just adult humor. Okay, I'm sorry, not puns. It doesn't have enough adult humor. This is beautiful. I like Kay and Company Ravons. Look at this. I thought it went really nicely with the, um, it does. the boho mandala one. There's a whole mandala thing going on right now. I'm expecting oh, some, yeah. some uh, mandalas in the mail, actually. Um, and then... That came from Barb Owens. I'm looking forward to that. Oh, these are out of awesome. The so on these ones, I have a project in mind, and I have all the supplies. So what I might do is just set these aside of my own and make them as embellishments. Oh, I need more hours in the day because I want to play as much as I want to give. But yeah, my little stack, that's going in my little stack of metals. Oh, this is fun. Rusty Pickle, quote, get her done coupons. Cinnamons, quotes, and titles for scrapbooks, altered projects, and more. Tomorrow is the most important thing in life. Comes in to us at midnight, very clean. Is perfect when it arrives and puts itself in our hands. It hopes we've learned something from yesterday. John Wayne. This is a cute stack. Well, ain't you purdy. Courage is being scared to death, but saddling up anyway. I like the accent that you're reading these in. It's, um, uh... Am I doing that? Oh yeah, <laughs> it's there. God gave me my talent and I was afraid of facing him one day if I didn't use it. Yee-haw! <laughs> <laughs> Talk low, talk slow. Don't stay too much. Oh, I almost thought it said stay. Don't stay too much. Hey, Shelly, don't stay too much. <laughs> I'm right on Kennedy. No, sometimes you get, sometimes you get got. That's funny. These are funny. I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it a surprise. It's oh, really funny. Um, uh, oh, with so our funny. with our dogs, my boyfriend and I. There's sometimes like I'll hold like our big dog, and I'll say he gone got got, <laughs> he gone and got got. It's it's just really funny. As a groomer, she does big dogs, little dogs, furry dogs. Are you promoting me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, you're my kid. Of course, I'm promoting you. <laughs> And to think a person like me has a whole army of children. Yeah. Yeah. I need sure. more. Oh, I don't. We're waiting. Have, I don't have things we, to we, we, we get, I'm get, trying to get, organize. Get, get, get. Here. There we go. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. Creative Trish just sent me something just like these. Do you remember that? I think that was Creative Trish. I thought you were asking me. And I was like, well, apparently we've already established that I don't watch her YouTube channel. <laughs> There's no pun intended, but I can't help but show you this. She's on the other side of the table. This is going to be upside down. <laughs> so, so I know we all see this. So let's just, let's just fix it. See, now it doesn't say that anymore. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. So I'm putting these with the letters, even though they have phrases. 
I think it's fun to stick them with the letters. Although, again, the problem is their sheer size. The size is difficult. So what I have to do is I have to cut them to oh, send well, them. Oh, well, I mean, you see there's a clear line in the middle. You could fold them in half. Yeah, that's what I did last time. So these did well, make it. That line, yeah. Though that's the line I used. They all have that line. So there's another one. Yeah, there's another one right here, but it's not, they don't all have that one. They all have this one. At least from the ones that I already mailed out. Oh, this is beautiful. It looks like it's done though. There's also some stuff behind it. Oh, it's a decorate this book thing. That's cute. Okay. So then this is a decorate this book thing and it what look at how cute that sand dollar is. And the seahorse. I do really like the sand dollar. Mm-hmm. There was a sand dollar stamp in the um, stamp pack. What? Well that's good. This could go with that if I'm smart enough to remember that. <laughs> okay, so this is a kit. A kit has its own pile. Because if it's a ready made, it just gets it it doesn't get sorted into kit style. It just gets added. Oh, look at these die cuts. These are cute. Tiki torches, umbrellas. Oh my gosh, look how cute this dolphin is. It's like a, a dolphin floaty. Oh. Isn't it cute? It's cute. It looks like something like a little kid would draw, but then adult like redraws it to make it look good. <laughs> Not that that happens, but look at the seahorse floaty. Oh my gosh, I would have bought you that as a little kid. I like how they have like little patches in them. That is cute. And these flip flops. Wait, I'm trying to see if this is a mermaid. Nope, it just says splash. Oh my gosh, why did I think it was a mermaid? <laughs> but look right here. Doesn't Maybe it? You were hoping it was a mermaid. Doesn't it look like a, a hair flip right it's there? It's very like clunky. Mermaid. Okay, maybe it's a tiki mermaid. <laughs> okay, that's definitely beachy. Okay, these are... Oh, so these ones, they only last so long. I have noticed and that. You noticed, um, well, I stuck that middle one on there, but there was another one of those that was stuck on something else. Yeah. So her stickers have kind of like bled onto other things. Well, these kinds of stickers, not these ones, these ones last for a long, long time. But when you have the resin style stickers, when they get too much heat and moisture, it takes the combination of the two. They start to bow upwards, um, which these ones are fine. They're bowing back. So they're not, they're not too old. But make sure that if you glue something like this on, you use some additional glue that's a little tougher than the glue that's on the back side so it stays if you want it to stay long term or just make it a card where you know someone's going to throw it away um because not everybody throws away the cards you make some people keep them i have a folder of every card i've ever received from i think the earliest one is a sixth birthday no some of them have gotten like lost but i try and keep every card like christmas thanksgiving most of them are birthday cards you saying I didn't make Christmas cards? I don't know if I did or not. I mean, I think you started to make more cards once you got into card making. But yeah. before that, I don't think we ever really got Christmas cards until you started making them. Yeah. It was just a stocking full of junk food. <laughs> yeah. And Pez. Oh, and then all and of the other brush. siblings would give me the Pez dispensers because no one else liked them. Yeah. And, and a toothbrush. You got the yeah. candy and a toothbrush. Uh, I mean, it's only, only there happy inspire wish dream joy and love and these are on metal backs or it feels like nope they're not metal metal it feels like metal though when you touch them it's kind of a heavy pack too over with the stickers we've got more stickers oh no there's more stickers uh oh am i gonna have a pile am i gonna be able to save it all yeah, this, this, oh, no, keep this, this okay look at all these favorite song favorite movie favorite this would be good for a junk journal party bff girly pretty accessories i love to shop reminds me of like the early 2000s teen yeah it does um and they're puffy they're thick it says gel stickers but man they're thick they don't really move that's why those are in the pack it's all the same brand too so i stack them together love it love elsie um yeah these are cute these look like buttons they're so durable i got a button maker 
I do have a button maker. I, I did. Um, Rose convinced me to get a button maker as a good idea because then when people make donations and when they have, um, uh, when they're hardests, I can make buttons and that way they can wear a button proudly that they're oh, a so hardest. Like one of the safety pin buttons? Yeah, safety oh, pin buttons. I meant like a shirt button. Oh, I yeah. can make a button. No, but that's what reminded me is it makes buttons. Oh, now these are kind of cute. These feel like resin. Is that right? The soft resin? Is that right? No. Like rubber. Plasticky rubber. The, it's the rubbery resin, the flexible. You could use this as an enclosure on a book. Um, I don't know why you'd want a happy birthday a book. But a welcome home would be nice if you were making something. Oh, new arrivals nice for a baby book too. So yeah, this is good for a bookmaker to have all three all of these. Technically, all of them could be used for a baby. Oh yeah, welcome home for a baby, new arrival. Oh, and yeah, you were just born. Happy birthday. Yeah, it's your birthday. Yeah. I don't know if I ever told um, the YouTubers this, but um, my son on his birthday used to tell me happy birthday on his birthday because he would always be like, well, you're the one who gave birth, so happy birthday to you. I, um I had a friend celebrating a birthday once, and I, I reminded him to text his mom Aww. to thank her for giving birth to him, and it was actually a really funny conversation. <laughs> That's so cute. Okay, more adorable die cuts. Hold a true friend with both your hands. Nigerian proverb. That's cute. A pal, a confidant, a friend, there to shield or to defend. Be Ewing. Birthday girl, best always together, me and you. Playful. These look like they came out of kits, you know? Yeah. Like one of those books that you buy where you punch them out. Yeah. Because you can see where the punch was. You definitely need an emery board. And there's for these one that's connected still. I think it was the first one. One on top. Yeah. You can see where it punches out. Yeah. I don't want to punch it out, though. Yeah. The flower. And they do automatically coordinate. Cousins, all star. Stars, stars, hearts, and stars. Oh my gosh, we're having lucky charms again. <laughs> okay, I don't know what this is. Figure it out. What is that? It has it has a figure it out moment. It's gotta have a. Huh, let me it's gotta have a purpose. Summer, star, star. Whatever our souls are made of, his and mine are the same. Emily Bront. Okay, she gave me a beautiful stack of... Am I done with the die cuts? I'm um, going to move these aside? Yes. Okay, I'm going to move these to your Thanks. side so I have more space. Yeah. I was going to say you're running out of space then. Yeah. I'm back. So, this is cute. It just says party. It's like an instant birthday card. Oh, here. You could use it with these. Do they match? No. I don't know. It kind of sort of matches. It has that same, like... Vibrant vibe. Yeah. You know, it could be like a little mini book. A mini book? A mini book. You know, like I did for your birthday card, what had like a little fold out? My most recent birthday? Yeah. There was a fold out? Did you not open the card all the way? You didn't I guess see the not. fold out? <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so funny. <laughs> well, I guess you didn't watch my video of the making of her card. Did you actually post a video of me making my birthday card? I don't know if it's released yet. It might not be released. Oh, I haven't released it yet because I have to do a voiceover because I had to make it go faster. You had to wait till after my birthday, too. <laughs> yeah, that too. Okay, this M&M is just happy. This reminds me of no, another daughter. Oh, he ain't coming off. So whoever gets this card kit. Well, it's a peanut M&M, so it's more your husband. Yeah, that's true. Or me. Okay, these are cute little flowers. And I do notice there's a theme of coordinating colors in here, too, which is kind of nice. Um, so these flowers. These and are just the 3D stickers. Like the pop-up. Yeah, I like the pop-up stickers. Oh my gosh, these are beautiful. I really like the cupcake. It's my favorite. <laughs> I really like them all together. This says eat cake. Are there more pages inside there? No, it's just the two. It's front and back. Oh wait, I'm opening it. It might be more pages. Oh my gosh, look how cute that is. Yeah, I don't think it's more pages. It's just a stiffener. Uh, okay. It says happy birthday layered stickers from Creative Memories. So, yeah, these are cute, though. Easy birthday cards. Um, so what I'm thinking about making as a kit, and this came up from an idea of my daughter, who's the daughter sitting here making kits, is 
wouldn't it be nice to have little kits, and this is something that I can sell on Etsy, where it's already prepared. You have two birthday cards, one sympathy card, one, um, you know, where you have your basic cards that you can make on the fly. And the stickers allow you to make the set of standard cards you should have in your stash. And then there could also be like, um, here's how I put these things together. Mm -hmm. You don't have to do it this way. So then instead of buying someone else's homemade cards on Etsy, they can genuinely say, hey, I made this. Right. And yeah. that way it's interchangeable. Mm -hmm. So that would be nice. Um, and Customizable. Well, what I'm thinking, though, is I think they should all be different, too. So when I come across kits like these, it makes me want to send this as part of somebody's kit. You mm -hmm. know? Where that way everybody's kit... The whole thing, that person's going to be a lucky person. Wait, but it would be. <laughs> it would be like that, where um, everybody's kit will have a cute set that makes birthday or birthday die cuts or congratulations congratulations can go with baby with graduation all kinds of different or getting married congratulations is a nice basic um thinking of you is a good basic so that kind of theme if i can come up with four or five sympathy, like that sympathy card yeah or no. and a thinking of you could be i miss you because you're traveling right, that um that the clear stamp pack that i showed you yeah that was a good find yeah she has a good find from michael's she should do haul videos because she goes shopping you sometimes know, i and feel it's like I, I came home with like four things and i ended up spending like 53 dollars there i just bought paper and stamps essentially well i bought tool for work and then yeah that was expensive that was like 15 dollars yeah. i was gonna make a what a tool joke but it just didn't fly yeah no um so the handmade stickers here that's cool Obviously, she bought them at Walmart, but I like the luggage on it. Isn't that cute? You know, I've never thought about craft supplies at Walmart. Oh, they have good craft supplies. They have good. I know they have fabric because I'm not close to a Joann's anymore. Not all Walmarts have fabric, but I am keeping this one. This is definitely mom. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, this one's definitely mom. Add a bit more orangey tones. Yeah, <laughs> that's cute. And these are these are fun just to have in my sticker stash. Oh, look at this one. This is beautiful. How easy to make some birthday cards out of this one. It takes a couple card. Yeah. Well, you know, you could make three birthday cards. One, two, and then the three balloons separately. And then celebrate could be a different card. So this is like four cards in one kit. And it's a beautiful kit. Um, this is cute. Dream, believe in yourself, true love. Now, for all of you people who love to make tags and you say, well, what do I do with them once I make them? You can use them on your cards when you're making cards to give away. Um, that's why I like cards because they're like little mini mixed media art pieces. You know, I was thinking of them as like one page journals. Yeah, that too. <laughs> that's a good way to look at it. You know, like your like junk journals. And these can be inspirational for tag making kits too. I like the way I they like layered the them up. Pearl stickers. Hmm? I like the little pearl stickers. Yeah, I like that too. Okay. Am I doing that right? Those are all stickers, right? Yeah. There we go. I've got, a, I've got things sorted now. Pretty much everything left is stickers. Though. She's making it easy on me. Okay, this is cute. This is clearly someone who's in track and field. Because these are all track and field things. Although this is just fun. The timer. Yeah, that doesn't necessarily have to be tracking people. No, this can be used for other things because if you took any one of these things out all by itself, um, you could, yeah, I don't know, it's a variety. But yeah, it's cute. It's got like a javelin, chocolate, discus. Play ball, strike, home run, ball, dart out. I'm not sure where it would ever be appropriate to say third out on anything that you were giving to someone. <laughs> it would just make me own. feel sad. Like, you're done. Oh, you could have it as a happy divorce card when you're... <laughs> <laughs> Three strikes, you're out. <laughs> oh, silliness. Okay, this is just pretty. Stickers. I'm assuming that's a golf ball. This is another one of the... You know, it could be um, Spaceship Earth at Disney. Epcot. No, it's a golf ball. <laughs> You know, they get mad at you when you call it a golf ball. It's Spaceship Earth. That's lovely. It's the Epcot golf ball. That makes me want to say it more. Right? Right. I have a friend who used to work there. I like the road here. That's cute. 
But it's more track stuff, so yeah. I'm guessing someone was in track and field. I'm guessing. Someone's child. Okay, more lovely stickers. This is a beautiful, beautiful day stash. So, best friends, my friends, best buds. Partners in crime, your friendship warms my heart. Friends forever? I like how you said that as a question mark. Friends forever? <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe. I like the blingy on these ones. If you can't see the shine, they're shiny. Oh, there's, I got distracted. Look, she has, she has more cowboy up stuff and it's, it's. Well, well you gotta take the whole stack if you're gonna get distracted. Oh, look at this. It's like a whole bunch of cowboy up stuff. Cowboy up. My heroes are cowboys. Rise for your life. I, I know I got distracted. Can't jump. I did. Oh, look, that's a die cut. I lied. There was one left. His boy. Where do I do with my die cuts? I've got the stack. Okay, I gotta give it back then. Brothers and friends. Like father, like son. Oh, I'm keeping these. These are stamps that are just so cool. They're resin also. So they're gonna roll up on me. Yeah, I know that. I accept that. Somewhere. I do. It's on the bottom. Yeah. But they're pretty. Boots, chaps, and cowboy hats. Rough and tumble. Cowgirl. Wildest memories. This side of Texas. So many cowboys, so little rope. I thought I was going to say something else. I am going to set that aside and move on to the shiny. So, um, yeah, these are just sweet and shiny. And it fits in the whole mandala thing that's going on right now. Might even inspire you if you're an artist. So if you're a hardest and you end up getting these ones... Um, I might send these to someone who is a mixed media artist because it might inspire you to make designs similar to this and also make you have more hope because whenever I do a mandala, I cannot do it perfectly even. And when I look at these ones, there's some that are not perfectly even. And so that's okay. So you can use that as kind of like the center and then like draw the mandala around it. You could do that too, yeah. That makes sense. I was thinking you could look at it and make something similar on your own on the side. But yeah, I like the idea of doing something similar on your own and then using well, this it gives, like, the center. Because the center is always the hardest part in like a mandala if you're like drawing it yourself. Yeah. Okay, done with those babies. She's giving me bling. Oh, it says bling it on. How cute is that? Rub-ons and rhinestones. Oh, so they're separate. So it's a layer of rhinestones that fit over the top of a rub-on. Hmm. I'll put that in the rub-on stack. Somebody will like that. It looks like it goes on the cover of a book, but to me these days, everything is a book. Bling. Stickers. Here's some tags. Tags. Are, what are these made out of? I have no idea. It feel like it looks like it'd be like a gel. Just like, like rubbery. It feels weird. Oh, it's oh. vellum. It looks like um, if you cut that into a little rectangle, you can use it as a Listerine strip. <laughs> Yeah, haul videos with my daughter are kind of fun. This is cute. Look at these little circles. Greatest gift, make a wish, happy birthday, wedded bliss, superstar, our celebration. And these are little frames. There's six of them. That is a big happy birthday. That takes up the card all by itself. Yeah, that's more than a card. Yeah. Well, well wait, you could do you could, top oh, and yeah, bottom I was say right here. Two separate ones. Yeah. Oh, and here's another one. Ready, set, blow. <laughs> I'm moving on to the next set. Oh, and these are um all the little like rubby ones. Ooh, I like the rubby ones. Well, that ones. one's just paper. Okay, this is vellum. Vellum. So the vellum is what I was talking trace about. Trace paper. So we could take, yeah. Oh, no, yeah, no. Yeah. It's tracing paper vellum? Yeah. But this seems so thicker than tracing paper. My tattoo was made on something like that for the stencil thing. Oh, they did a stencil on your tattoo and then they? Yeah. Well, okay. they do it in like that purple like stencil ink. Yeah. They draw it in like with like that fancy purple pen. Oh, I always thought they yeah. just did the art straight up. No. They do like the stencil so they know where they're going. And then they like put the ink on your skin so then you can see the outline. And you're like, yeah, that looks good. And then you approve the purple stencil. And then they stab you a million times. She has a tattoo of a potion that Shannon has created. And her tattoo <laughs> is of the forget-me-not. And so she has just a little forget-me-not that she got when she was 18 or 19. 18, I think. And it's funny that all my kids thought I would judge them for having tattoos, but I don't really care. If you want a tattoo, it's your body, you have a tattoo. But they all thought I'd judge them for that. I think that's odd. 
So uh, obviously well, I left some wasn't kind of a... It wasn't really you. I was more uh, worried about him. Um, oh, I see. Thing. I see. Okay. A little more conservative on body art. All right, gotcha. All right, each flower is a soul blossoming out to nature. Bloom where you are planted. These are pretty rub-ons. Do you see them? Mm. Oh, you've already looked I at them. I sorted them. <laughs> oh, these are cute too. I like the little mini ones. Yeah, I like these ones. Like these ones. Does that say spunk? Yes, it says spunk. spunk. Do you need a little spunk? No. Play, creative, imagine. Oh no, create. Imagine. These are cute. I like this brand. Who is this? Is it Magnolia? I think so. I think so too. I'm getting sleepy. Don't yawn. <laughs> Sorry. Shoot. It happened. Oh my gosh. I'm oh, we in know love. I'm in love with this swoopty doopty thing. Yeah, I could see that on about like all of your cards. Yes. Oh my gosh. I love the swoopty doopties. Now, just so you guys know, I can't always come up with in my head how I want to do a swoopty doopty. So I'll go into my stash of stickers, which I sometimes hoard and don't use. I'll go into my stash of stickers and look for an inspiration for how I want to swoopty doop on one of my cards or letters or whatever it is I'm doing. And then it'll give me the idea for which way to go. So in a way I'm copying, but I never end up copying exactly because I still end up doing my own thing. Although I really like how they do the celebrate on this one. So yeah, this is my stash. But it's not, it's not a surprise. I like K and Company. They're a good brand. I keep hearing someone's phone ring. This says mom forever. <laughs> or it's forever, forever upside mom. down. Wow. Okay, forever wow. <laughs> this is cute too. Look at this. Sweet and simple. Oh wow, Lovely. I really like that um, the cream one. Yeah, that's pretty. It's like a lace. It shows you how to do it. Just so you know, if you do get rub-ons, one of the things that I found is useful is to cut out the one you're using because you don't want to accidentally rub on something that you don't intend to rub onto your page. Mm -hmm. And so I usually cut those out. And the tongue, the little like popsicle stick tongue depressor thing really is the best thing. Yeah, there's nothing better than the, the popsicle stick. And you try all the other things and it's not as good as the popsicle stick. I saved stick. the best for last. These are the last two. Oh, these are wood die cuts. And I even like the little box they're in. So we've got keys. That'll be good for your steampunk stuff. Yep. So this is definitely hands. going to be a blend for the steam. Oh, oh, I can't touch it. Mom, can't that's not it. the same as the Saints one, though. Oh, okay. It's it different. is a little different than the Fleur de Lis. She knows I hate the Saints. So the Fleur de Lis comes out, and it's like, I ain't touching that. But this that. one's my favorite. Yeah, that one I'm keeping. So this one is going... Actually, I can just go ahead and send this whole set right here. I'll put it in a smaller Ziploc baggie because I don't want to take up valuable mm -hmm. gifty space in there. Um, but yeah, this will go to the person who's working on the steampunk journal because it's keeping her motivated and happy and I like to see that. So these are fancy bread's. Um, that's so cute. You should see my hoard of breads. I mean, I just like Brad's because it adds like a different texture, you know, because mm -hmm. every, pretty much everything on a card is paper. Yeah. You know, I like metal and paper together. It's a nice change of, change of pace. Yeah. Why are you saying you want these? No, I don't really make a lot of birthday cards. Oh. I just really like the ribbon. Oh, I didn't mean to keep Celebrate. We'll put Celebrate over in another stash. And, oh, this goes with the die cuts. That's where it goes. Oh. So you guys know, you saw how much go to the hardest, but for those of you who say, don't forget to take care of yourself and keep things for yourself, because I do get that message quite a bit, <laughs> um, I did. See, these are the ones I kept for myself. God, I love this one. This is so cute. This is the one I kept. It's just ribbon. Yeah. So you have to put it a little bit further. There you go. That's just the ribbon. one she kept. That one's cute. This one looks like Christmas to me. Well, because a, a lot of dogs come in on their birthday. Oh. You know, because their parents want them to have, like, a little spa day. That's a cute idea. So then I like to give... I um, Sometimes I'll actually take from the store floor and get, like, the, the little... Happy birthday. Happy birthday thing. bandanas, but then I have to pay for them. And that would get expensive pretty fast. Well, thank you oh, very no. much for joining us. And so chat with you later. Love y'all. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.